Hey everyone, um, so this is going to be my second video for the new series Stash Chat. And um, I think these Stash Chat videos are good for people who are interested in um, my stash as far as the things that I use for PL. But I also think that it's a good beginner series for people who are wanting to start out with Project Life but don't really know a good foundation of what they need or you know what items to get or what's mostly used and that kind of thing and this is all of course my own opinion and just stuff that I use but anyways today's video is going to be about alphas I get a lot of comments and questions about um, the alpha stickers I use in my project life so I kind of wanted to go over and show you a little bit of my stash and just kind of go into what what are my favorites for a project life okay so just jumping right in my favorites that I use for project life are going to be October Afternoon Mini Markets. So that's these right here. I'm hoping that October Afternoon never stops making these because really these are probably my number one favorite letters to use um, in Project Life. As you can see, I've used a ton of them. I used this one in my wedding album, so there's a lot missing there. But I mean, I just, I use these like crazy and these are just a few of the ones that I have. I have let me see if I can pull these all out. I mean, this is my stash of October afternoon. And October afternoon, I'll just go ahead while I'm talking and just kind of um, share the different colors that they make. I mean, they're very muted um, colors, but I really do like them. And there's so many different kinds, so many different color combinations. Like they make the color with cream. Sometimes they make the color with black. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is a peppermint one from the Christmas line a few years ago. Um, some of them I have doubles. This is like a wood grain. Here's like a khaki color. And this one's just a little bit lighter. Uh, I would say it's a little bit darker than like a cream color, but that one's nice. And then some of them have um, two two different colors. So this one's like a pink letter with uh, red. I mean a pink stick background sticker with um, a red letter. And there's cream and blue. So here's another um, example of a little bit of a difference. Like these are uppercase and lowercase, and these are just uppercase. So these are peppermint, these are red and cream. And there we go. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, and so a good dupe for the um, mini markets that I've found are these square letters right here from Target's Dollar Spot. Um, they don't come in the variety of colors that you can get October afternoon ones in, but um, they're similar in size. These are only a dollar, and they come in the khaki and gold. I wanna say I had, yeah, I have a gray one too. This one is gray and white, so you see they're very, very similar, but they just don't come in all the different colors. But I think that these colors are pretty universal. So, you know, if you're starting out, you have a small budget, especially um, Target, Dollar Spot, check them out because they have letters like this sometimes. So there we go. And then the other October afternoon stickers that they make are called Sticky Keys. These are just round. Here's some green and black, some teal and cream, green and white. These look like little typewriter keys. Um, this one is just a blue and cream, which I haven't used yet. Red and cream. Haven't used that. That looks like typewriter as well. There's red and cream, green and cream, yellow. I love this color yellow. And then this one is like a navy blue with a teal or aqua color um, letter. And then of course my favorite, the black with the cream. So, um, same thing. If you are on a budget or just starting out and you want to try some stuff, um, Target also has a similar dupe with these round um, alphas. And these are black with gold letters. So these are really pretty. I haven't used these yet, but um, these were a dollar as well in the dollar section when you first walk into the store. Now, I'm not saying that they have these all the time, but I'm just saying, you know, they have them sometimes. So if, if you're in... In Target, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to go look and grab a couple packs that are just a dollar each. Uh, my next favorite alphas to use are the, these particular snap letters. And this is a great buy as well because these come in a pack of like six or seven different colors. 
and I believe they're at Joann's or Michael's. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's I think it's actually Hobby Lobby I got these. And I think those are all the colors that come. Oh no, one more. Yeah, so these are the colors that come in the packs, and then so there's eight different colors. I use these all the time. Sometimes when uh, a card is just has a little bit of space, it's just missing a title or just something to kind of reel your eye in. Um, even if it's just the it, it needs the color, um, I love using these alphas. And these are $4.99 for all eight of these sheets, which is a great deal. And then, of course, if you have a 40% off coupon, then, you know, you're really scoring there because you're only paying $3 for these letters. So this is a great value, great deal. I definitely recommend you picking up a couple of packs of these. I also have the Snap Square ones, which look like this. And I like these, but I just prefer the actual alphas uh, to, to these. The other favorite that I have for alphas are these gold glittery alphas. And I threw away the packaging, but I'm pretty sure that these are recollection um, stickers. And these are two different packs. Um, they come in uppercase and lowercase, and they're just the perfect sh color of gold. I love these. I use these a ton in my project life. And then another brand that I use two is jelly bean soup so I have a few of these and I have your basic colors I have the green the yellow of course black and then like a teal color and a red um, one of my newer ones that I picked up that I'm finding I really like is this October afternoon set this is from the daily flash um, this is a great set to get as well if you see this online when you're shopping these from studio calico which was in their essentials line, which I think they were trying to get back to like some basics that they thought people would, you know, always go back to. Um, as you can see, I've used a few of these. They're okay. Um, I prefer my mini market. It's called Lily Bee Designs. Um, these are tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. I love the shape of the letters. I love the long, skinny, narrow look um, of alphas. Buy them like this in a sheet and I want to say it's like $4.99 or $5.99 I can't remember and then I just cut them down so that I can just lay them in my drawer like this and these are another one that I get some questions about these are from Glitz and they're called Teeny Alphas in black they also come in like a Tiffany blue color they're really really cute these look like little Scrabble tiles you can see the little numbers they come with a ton of letters like you can see right here these were all A's and I still have four left another one that I like to use um, are these basic gray letters, and I have them in white. Sometimes you just need white on a colorful background. I really like the shape of these. These are only uppercase, but look at all the letters that you get. I mean, you get a ton, a ton. Look at all these E's. Oh, three rows of E's, that's awesome. I think these are $2 each, each pack. I have some other random ones in here. Here's some teeny alphas from Glitz in white. Um, Here's some basic gray ones that are uppercase and lowercase. I want to say these are black. They're, oh, they're called mini mono stickers. That's right. Um, but there's a little bit of distressing to these. Um, they're in my stash. I like these. These are from Cosmo Cricut. They're tiny type. And they're clear um, with a black lettering in their box um, stickers. I really like these. I don't know where I got them. They're really old. Um, I like these Dear Lizzie little box stickers. Of course, I like the shiny gold ones the best, but I have used these white ones with the gold letters. And then here's just some other kind of random ones that I have in here. Just small little block letters. Authentique has a bunch of um, different sticker letters as well and different colors. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you are these um, little stickers right here, little sticker sets. Um, they're similar in shape to the Simple Stories one, so I just keep them um, with the Simple Stories in my drawer. But these are not um, sticker sets that you can buy like this. Um, they actually come in sheets like this. So I think this one is, yeah, the Finley Collection from Glitz. And for a while I was just kind of storing all of these 
all in the same spot, which is not in my alpha drawer. That's right by me for Project Life. And as you can see, I've hardly touched these. I think that I've forgotten that I've had them. And of course, that it has to do a lot with the organization of my room, but I think it also has to do with the fact that I think I have too much stuff. And I think I just kind of focus on what's right next to me and what I can see and what's in my fingertips. Um, so I want to get a little bit better at organizing my room and, put, and start putting things away organized fashion that works uh, for me in my scrapbooking style. So basically I was just going to show you what I do here and it's so super easy. So when you buy these sheets, if you don't want to store them in a sheet and if you want to store them kind of like, like how I do with your Simple Stories um, stickers, see like when they're in my drawer, they're I mean, they just all kind of flow together right there. They're all the same size, which I like. So you can just cut these down. Let me use this one. So I'm just going to cut these down, and then I'm going to have them in my drawer with my simple stories, and I bet you will see me using these in my Project Life process videos. I had these in my collection all this time and just never used them. I could have been using these on my project life. So um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I've started to do now is just kind of cut these up and stick them in with my stash. And I think I'm really going to like Eventually, that. like when I cut all these up, I'm going to have quite a, quite a stack of these, but it's okay. I like that I have, you know, a little bit of variety um, now for my project life and I don't just necessarily have to use these all the time when this is the kind of look I'm going for because these are very... Um, similar. So anyways, um, the only other alphas that I use and it's not all that often are my thickers. So here are my thickers right here and this storage system is not working for me right now. I've completely outgrown these two damask buckets that I got from Michaels. All of these thickers right here are all my colored thickers that are in rainbow order. I don't like that the tops are falling forward so I can't really see them and because this system has just overgrown and I don't like it I notice that I don't reach for these very often and I think thickers and PL is really cute so you know it is a little disappointing that I don't go for these more often than I do but I need to figure out a new system for these these thickers are really cute they're little cork ones I wanted to share but these came from a kit from I think a Studio Calico kit for Project Life. But all these, I think to right, yeah, to right there. These are all my black thickers. And they go into black and white, gray, gold. Now these aren't thickers, but uh, I think these are really cute. These are like a cream color background with a gold shiny wood grain. They're by We Are Memory Keepers, so cute. And then I just go into um, my white ones. I have a bunch of white ones as well. Don't, don't get me wrong. I love having a variety of different types of fonts um, for these stickers, but I just need a better system. And I'm So those are all the alphas that I use on a regular basis for my project life. Um, I do have some die cuts and some stamps that I will be showing in another stash chat. Um, video. I just didn't want this one to be too long because this one is mostly focusing on just my sticker alphas and that's what I get a lot of questions on but don't forget that there are die cuts and stamps that you can use for alphas as well so you don't necessarily have to have a huge collection of um, sticker letters if you have you know die cuts and stamps but we'll go into that in another video.